Alright, so the next thing I want to do is make the elements on my page respond to my browser's width. Now, what's cool is if you see that my, my paragraph text already does that naturally, but my images, which my image and my video, which have explicit values set for them, uh, don't seem to be responding the same way. So, to take care of that, uh, well, I'm going to do a couple things. Uh, first order of business is I know everything that I have is inside of an article tag. So let me start by trying to apply some elements to that. It's the most parent most tag of all those. So what I'll do is start by creating a new CSS document because I'm going to keep this external. And since I already have this normalized code, I could just paste that in here and I'll name my file main.css and then quickly go into my folder I'm just gonna make a duplicate of this rename this main and there we go I have that style sheet attached and there we are just make sure this is all the stuff that used to be in there from uh, the CSS reset get rid of it and I'll start with article so what do I want my article to be? Well, uh, okay, well, I know what I need its, m its max to be because since it's going to hold my video and my image, which both have maximum widths uh, of their native file size, I'm going to first define that. I'll go max width for all of this stuff is going to be 1280 pixels. Um, there we go. So that means that at least now if I stretch this beyond the browser, the, um, the text is going to stop responding beyond 1280. Cool. But, I, but this isn't very responsive, right? Because when we go down, it doesn't seem to be doing much. So let me give it a width of just arbitrary width of 90%. Just chose that arbitrarily is what I'm saying. And refresh it, uh, well, it didn't really do anything, right? Well, I'll tell you why it didn't do anything, because it's still going 90%, at least the text the uh, text is, you see. But the videos, but uh, rather these, uh, the video and the image have explicit widths already, which are uh, 1280. But check out this little uh, trickery. We, I'm going to go video and image in the same tag. What I'm going to do is give them a width of uh, 100%. Now, 100% of what? Well, it's going to be 100% of the article, which happens to be 90% of the page. So nice. Look at that. I got With that refresh, I got rid of my horizontal rule. And now it's all fitting in. But what's lame about this now is that it's uh, it's skewing the proportions, right? It's not actually keeping the proportions uh, relative to the dimensions. So what I could simply do to adjust that is I'll give it a height of auto, which is going to just keep the proportions going. And bam, look at that. So now it seems to work. Cool. And if I refresh it in Internet Explorer, fortunately, it's jiving in there too. And that's very cool. Now, depending on how, what your image is like, don't forget that you can define um, a max width or a max height for these things as well and um, if you find your image is a little at maximum proportions is getting a little too big well you know nothing's stopping you from doing something like uh, max height let's just say uh, 900 pixels then when I refresh this see it's gonna go maximum height of 900 pixels but keep in mind that if you're going to do that and define a max height of 900 pixels, more than likely you're going to have to define a max width too to keep things proportional or whatever the image is. I think you kind of get it. So, um, 
But that's really it. That's it's as simple as that. And now we have all these uh, responsive elements. Probably the last thing I'm going to take out this max height and width. Uh, the last thing I'm going to do is uh, center my article with margin. Uh, top bottom will be zero. Left and right, I need auto since I already have a width. I'm all good. Give it a reset, and now I'll refresh it, and there it is. Perfectly centered, and as you could tell, centered and flexible. Let's see what it looks like in Chrome as well. Not bad. And make sure it's stopping at 12. Cool. Not bad at all.